Hey guys, this is Goofer King, and today I'm going to be showing you an arc furnace that I built recently. In future videos, I'll be building a proper body for this to sit inside so it can reach higher temperatures. Now I'll show you the setup that I have here. I have a power cord, and the positive terminal is going to a homemade resistive ballast. I'll be explaining how to make this in the future. As you can see, it comes through into another carbon electrode. The negative terminal comes directly from the power cord into another carbon electrode. The resistor ballasts the electricity so that it doesn't immediately pop your breaker. You need to wear a welding mask to do this. I was wearing three pairs of sunglasses, and that seemed to work pretty well. Here I have some steel wire, and you can see when I hold the steel wire, into the arc, it begins to melt it, as you can see by the sparks flying everywhere. Here's something even a little more impressive. I'm melting a rock. As you can see, it's putting out quite a bit of smoke as it begins to boil the rock. Here I am powering down, you can see there's the rock. It's still glowing hot, and it's beginning to cool down. After it fully cooled down, here I'm on macro, showing you this newly created obsidian blob. It's very shiny and it's very smooth. I experimented later with making even more of these. It's pretty amazing. It has to be above 2000 degrees Celsius. Would you like to see a carbon arc furnace? It's going to be really bright, okay? First I want to show you this. Oh, okay. It's nice. Popcorn. Oh, popcorn, yeah. I'll we'll get my dad. Hey, hold on. Buy some. Here. See you. Hey, Dad. Hi. Hello, brother. Um, Are you videotaping it? Yeah. I'll shut this off. 